Now, let's see, you did, can you do the cat woman? Can well, you do any this of is the, more difficult. Let's see you do a woman, yeah. I love to do women. I know you, know you relish that, huh? <laughs> yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer plays Catwoman, and she's really a pussy cat. Yeah, she only is playing the role, you know, you, you hear what the rumor is. What is she the hopes to get a drawing of her by Bob Kane. Well, listen, I'd like to give her more than a drawing. <laughs> what can I tell you? She's terrific. I don't know what you can tell me, but I hope you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Not on camera anyway, Stan. All right. Now, this is Catwoman. Yeah. Son of a gun. She's uh, very sexy in the film, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. she, she, she does a lot of her own stunts, but they have a stunt woman. She does a lot of flips. She does, really? Yeah, a lot of flips in the movie, like... Herself, like, you mean? Yeah, well, not wow. Michelle. They have a stunt. Oh, the stunt woman does. Yeah, the yeah. stunt woman. But she's uh, well, it, it's a little more detailed than that. But you know, it's a rough sketch yeah. of Catwoman. I, I would have recognized her anywhere. I haven't drawn her in a while. I think, considering that you haven't been drawing comics for so long, <laughs> the fact that you remember them and can do them this well, and well, they're, they're certainly recognizable. Generally, when you pencil them in, they will come out more yeah. detailed and more accurate. This Let is me just explain that it. for any anybody who might not understand. Most most all the artists, when they do a drawing, first they do it very lightly in pencil, just so they see what it should look like. Then they take either a magic marker or a pen or a brush, and they go over the pencil drawing and Absolutely. they refine it. That's called embellishing, or it's called inking, or whatever. And it is quite difficult for an artist to draw just with the magic Impromptu, marker first. Really because it really is just coming out of your head. You, you, have can't, no you, can't, you can't rub it out. It's yeah. indelible ink, and right. there it is. And well, a guy like Bob has so much stuff in his head already that for stuff to come out of it, it isn't that easy, right? Well, when you're a genius, it's easy, <laughs> right? We'll do the Joker now. And, well, and we haven't done that. That's no. right. I'm sure everybody wants to see that. Jack Nicholson was terrific as the Joker. Wasn't he, though? Yeah. Oh, he really was yeah. the movie. He blew it away. Jack said to me, he says, hey, Kane, how do you think? In fact, the story in, in, in London was when Michael Keaton went to Jack after he wore the costume, uh -huh. he said, hey, Jack, how do you think I ought to play the Batman? So Jack looked at him and he said, say, kid, just let the suit do the acting, huh? <laughs> and, and that was what he told What he me. meant was, don't step on my lines. <laughs> you heard about that line? No, no, yeah. that's cute. Anyway, the Joker is, is probably one of the great villains of all time, comparable to, say, Dr. Moriarty, Sherlock Holmes, and... Uh, yeah, he certainly a, is, and certainly a, after Nicholson's portrayal, oh. he's immortal now. Now, you know, I got the Joker from Conrad Veidt, and we mentioned that earlier, and uh, that's I will where never I got forget. the original idea from. <laughs> so, Jerry, if you're looking... Bob, do you remember, says Stan, not to change the subject, but do you remember that you and I have been wanting to write a screenplay for the longest time? Oh, I meant to talk about and that today. we haven't been able to do it because for these past few years, we haven't been able to agree whether your name comes first or my name comes first. I, I think that's just ridiculous. I think you really ought to yield and say, Stan, your name is shorter or whatever. It might as well come first because it doesn't really matter. But we're depriving the public of this Except great for one play. thing. H-I-J-K-L. K comes before Lee. Kane. I precede you there. But you've never been that literal a person. R-S. Robert before Stan. R-S. Bob, you're an artist. You don't have those mundane considerations. Would you With really you wait to do it? and feeling and spirit. And the world is waiting. <laughs> Can you imagine if you and I got together, okay. both of us in our bumbling, stumbling way, we would probably do everything wrong imaginable, but we might come up with something that could be as good as that cat thing you once saw. What was the as, name of as, that again? As good as Batman and Spider-Man. What was that cat strip you did? Courageous Cat. Courageous Cat. Courageous Cat. Yeah. cat. I could and do tell, Courageous tell Cat. Tell me, I, I think the, the whole world wants to know. All right, was that a, I'll an tell animated you what. cartoon? Hmm? That was an animated cartoon? Yeah, Courageous Cat and Minute Mouse. In and fact, it, we're reinstating it now. I'm doing the new adventures of Courageous Cat. Really? For television, and uh, it's going to be out next year. Actually. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now I, I think you. I think I, you just I, went I off have, the page. I think I ran off the page. Yeah. At any rate, I'd like to do a script with you if you'd give me the first line. All I want is the first Feed line. Feed you the first line? Yeah. How I, about this? Once upon a time. I like that. Take it, Bob. Okay. <laughs> there was a super taker. hero. No, superintendent of a building. Oh, you always top me. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, you I know what it is? What's that? We're both afraid to initiate a superhero because we feel uh, we'd like to come up with it ourselves. I think we hate to share the limelight. So we keep horsing around saying, you give me the first line, I'll give you the first no, line. No, but it doesn't matter. If I come up with it, you'll still take the credit for it. And if you <laughs> come up with it, I'll tell everybody it was my idea. So that really is no <laughs> That's concern. exactly why hey, we this never... Is, this is the best you've done yet. Well, I like the joke. He's a great That's friend. Great. And, uh, what do you think it would take for me to persuade you to sign that and, and let I, your I'm favorite give, host I, I'm have I'm going to give that to... Do I get paid today? You know, that is a sentence that you are not loath to throw around. No. All right, I, I'll pay you for it. You will? In kind. Listen. You can have my shot of wimpy. <laughs> Did you know that Sotheby's just had an exhibition? Mm -hmm. If I didn't, you're going to tell me. <laughs> Go ahead. And, they, and the Batman number one, number 27, uh -huh. sold for $55,000. And tell me about your collection. I don't have Batman I know. Is because that, is my ex-wife threw it out or gave it to a maid and I... Uh, she, the maid wanted me to buy it back, and I, out of ego, I did not buy it back. In hindsight, now I wish I bought it back. Yeah. But it isn't a money stand. It's the memorabilia of owning the first one. So mm -hmm. if you ever get Batman number one, I'll be glad to give you a couple of originals. In fact, I'll <laughs> even give you this today as a token. I would love to I'm have even going to write this here to, oh, this is to my dear... I'm spelling it out, showing how to spell. <laughs> to my dear friend... Stan. This is my payoff. Stan the man. He is the man. If I were not Bob Kane, I'd like to be Stan Lee, you know, but unfortunately <laughs> I'm Bob Kane, so I'll stick with it. Maybe... I love your signature, Bob. <laughs> well, you know... What makes you make that O so big? What made you decide to do that? Whatever Milton Kniff. Oh, that's right. Milton that's Kniff. That's right. Right? Do you remember how he signed his name? Yeah, he had something like this. Absolutely right. The Owen Milton right? was big. Yeah. And what put the box around mine was Milt had a box also. Yeah. And that's how I, how I got to sign Milt Son Kniff had the gun. big O. Yeah. <clears throat> that's a truism. Well. So anyway, hey, this, this, this one is, is for you. That is really great. I ran out of paper for the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll, I'll find Jack Nicholson and get him to sign it too when I'm really in business. And Jack won't bother with you. I told him about Stan Lee. He said, who? Yeah, well, that's the way the whole world reacts, usually. <laughs> Bob, listen, I want to tell you something. I never had more fun or a better time. I, I've life. had more fun in my lifetime than <laughs> this interview with you, to be honest with you. This is not a great day for me. I had a headache. I got here. I got up. I, I generally get up at the crack of noon. Uh -huh. I had to get up at the crack of 11. I had no breakfast, at least if you spring for lunch or something. You're really roughing it But here, this is not a really yeah. a great day for me. Yeah. Yeah. The makeup makes me look pretty good, but I'm tired. <laughs> this was very boring, this whole show. It's a throwaway, but I'm glad anyway that we got together again. And I'm only kidding, folks. It was a bad day. I'm Bob, not kidding. Bob, as you, always, Stan. you're one of the comic book greats. And thanks so much for uh, coming. You're almost one of the comic book greats, <laughs> And Thank I hope you. you come back Mom, again sometime. Dad, <laughs> everyone in the past, Debbie, all my children out there that I don't know about, God bless you all. I love you. If you weren't so shy and retiring, you'd be a great guest. I, <laughs> Good night, you. Good night. <laughs> Bob, I, I think you just blew an entire series. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, what a throwaway. Can we see the playback? <laughs> they have I a see playback. the playback. I'll never even let you get your hands on it. <laughs>